With volatility roaring back, are people worried about it? I mean, how is that changing portfolio allocations now? Volatility is certainly, uh, so we've come from an extremely low level of volatility to what I would call more normalized volatility, but the markets aren't that accustomed to it, and it does create concern. Uh, it particularly creates concern of the holding of equities, which is one of the reasons we see companies moving into private equity, which is less volatile in its valuations than public equities are. That's kind of amazing, too, because almost every year we've seen this, you know, the last few years, people have been pushing into private equity. It's been a record year for private equity fundraising. So why is there still such a demand? Private equity was the number one asset class people saw investing in. Pri globally, private equity was the number one asset class that companies are looking to add to their allocations. The performance of private equity over the last decade has been stellar relative to other asset classes. But some of that demand that we're seeing is actually replacement for monies that are being are, that are coming back because these private equity firms, given the strong markets, are liquidating some of their holdings. That comes back to investors as cash. So some of that cash goes right back into private equity commitments. It's fascinating, though, because when you look at the macroeconomic risks, you know, responders, and there were, what, 300 of them, CIOs and, and you know, people at the top of the executive suites, they cited practically nothing when it came to things like cyber events or tax changes. I mean, they were down at zero or one percent. Well, the single greatest risk that companies are facing is the, uh, the strength of the U.S. economy. If the U.S. economy slows down or heads into recession, that will eventually bring Europe with it and then eventually Asia and the emerging markets. So that's the number one thing that they're looking at. And as I said, the U.S. economy is further along in recovery than the rest of the globe. Speaking of concerns, people were more aware of environmental social governance issues. What are people asking about? I thought the concern about firearms in the study was kind of interesting, for example. Well, the insurers for a long time have been uh, very concerned about what they hold in their portfolios. For a long time, they've avoided tobacco, um, uh, gaming stocks, gaming bonds, um, alcohol, and firearms. But the movement towards ESG or environmental, social, and governance investing really is taking those kinds of screens and broadening it across the entire portfolio, including looking at the carbon footprint and uh, the management style of companies, how open is it to shareholders, et cetera. So the industry has been there, but it is definitely broadening. We see very strong interest in Europe and in Asia in particular, and I think the U.S. companies are catching up.